everyone, welcome to this video tutorial for this ultra chunky striped two-in-one mattress blanket that you can see Melba in here. Um, hope you enjoy this tutorial. Please like, share and subscribe and hope to catch you soon. Bye. Okay, so for this project you will of course need some yarn. Now you can choose to use three colours like I am and make a striped uh, mattress blanket or you could just use one colour. But I'm going to show uh, three colours today, how to change colours, how to create the stripes. Um, it's fully customisable, so it's fully customisable in size. Um, how you make the stripes, how wide you make the stripes, how many stripes you make. It's just fully customizable. I'm going to make three. Um, I've got my three colors here of this uh, super chunky or really, yeah, ultra chunky I'm calling it, um, uh, yarn. It's 100% a, it's a acrylic, so meaning that it's, it's super easy to wash. Um, yeah, so I've got three colors there. You'll need a crochet hook that corresponds to your yarn. I'm going to use a 14 millimeter. You'll need a large darning needle with a large eye. You'll need some scissors to snip off your ends. And you'll need a tape measure to measure the, um, the bed or the basket or whatever you're making it for, the, the backpack, um, to measure the dimensions that you need. I'm going to make today dimensions, well, I'm actually only making a sample today, but I'm going to show you what I've made up previously, which is dimensions of 50 centimetres by 35 centimetres. So I'm going, to, I'm going to speak to that pattern today, but like I said, fully customisable. You can, you know, go crazy with your creativity on, on this project. Okay, so the stitches and te techniques that you'll need to know for this uh, pattern are how to slip knot onto your hook, how to create a chain, how to half double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, those are all US terms, and then you'll need to know how to change colours, I'll show you how to, how to do that, and then you'll, if, you, if you're indeed you're changing colours, you may just want to make a, a mattress blanket all in one colour, in which case you won't need to know how to do that. And then at the end, you'll just need to know how to weave in your ends, um, which is super simple. Okay, so this is the, um, the blanket, the size that I've made up previously um, to this tutorial. Like I said, I'm just going to make up a sample in this tutorial. But this one here it fits perfectly in Melba's basket. It's uh, obviously got three colours, as you can see, the grey, the cream, and this um, golden brown. Um, I, what I've done here, and this is how I will show you the pattern, the stripes are slightly asymmetrical. So the, the uh, grey stripe is the largest, and the, the cream stripe is the smallest, and then I've got this, this uh, beautiful goldy colour that's just, it's nearly as big as the grey, but just slightly under. So um, you don't have to be exact with these dimensions, uh, as long as it's in the ballpark of what you're making it for, whether it's a basket, a backpack, or or just to place on the floor or onto a seat or, or wh whatever, you know, you can, it's entirely up to you what you use this for. So yes, this one is a, in height, and I'm, I apologize, you can't quite see it, it's off screen, but in height, it's 35 centimeters, in width, it's 50 centimeters. Okay, and that's the size. It's approximate. It's not down to the, you know, down to the millimeter because it just doesn't need to for this for this project. Um, I'm using, like I said in the beginning, this ultra chunky yarn, which creates a really nice effect. It's it's um, both, it's you know, comes to be about two centimeters thick, and uh, nice and padded and soft and. And it's only acrylic, so it's not super warm, but it's enough for Melbourne and for, for here in, in Marseille. You could totally use a ultra chunky yarn that has some wool in it, and that would add some extra warmth. So let's get started. Okay, so take your first colour and slip knot 
onto your hook. And like I said before, you can use as many colors as you like. I'm using the three. I'm going to start with this um, pale beige color for my first stripe. So now you're going to create your chain. Now just chain nice and loosely and chain to the length that you need for whatever you're making this mattress blanket for. So I'm, like I said, I'm only making a sample. So I'm going to just chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now yours will be um, however many chains you need to create the length that you're making. So um, if you're making it in the same pattern that I made the last one or the one I showed you on camera before, this one, this one here, if you're making exactly these dimensions, this you'll, you'll chain to around 48 or 49 centimeters, and that will give you a 50 centimeter um, width for your, your project once it's finished. So your chain will tend to be slightly tighter than, you, than the work, um, just because of the nature of the pattern. So just chain slightly under the, the width that you, you want. Um, and make sure that you, ch you chain an odd number. Okay, so chain chain to your length and then either subtract one or add one. Okay, so I've got my seven. So if you need to pause the video here, complete your chain, and I'll meet you back after you've done that. Okay, so you'll have your length of chain that you need for the dimensions you're making. Now you count the chains, make sure you've got an odd number. So I've got my seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then chain two as your turning chain. One and two. And then we're going to work into this third loop on the back of the chain. So when you look at the front, you've got these, these Vs. That's the front of the chain. You ch when you turn it over, there's these third loops in the back here. We're going to be working into the third loops in the back. Okay, so leaving your turning chain of two, you'll start to work into the third, um, third chain from the hook. So yarn over, half double crochet into that third chain. So the beginning and end of each row will be a half double crochet. Okay, so that's just to help to keep the, the edges nice and nice and regular. So half double crochet always at the beginning of your row and at the end of your row. Next stitch, single crochet. Or next chain, single crochet, since we're just on row one. Next chain, double crochet. And that's why you're chain should be loose because you'll have trouble getting your hook in there if it's too tight. Double crochet, single crochet, so you're just alternating single double, single double, single crochet, double crochet, Now keep going, alternating your singles and double crochet until you get to the uh, final stitch. And then as I said, that's going to be a half double crochet. So continue alternating your pattern, single, double, single, double. I'll meet you once you've finished that row one back at the end of the row. Okay, so just finishing off my row here, my second to last stitch as a single crochet. And then my last stitch is a half double crochet. It's a little bit tighter, that one. Okay, there we go. Half double crochet. Okay, so we've got row one. Just to recap, first and last stitch is half double crochet. In between, you're alternating single, double, single, double, single. Well, you'll have a lot longer than I have. Just I'm just making up the sample, so it's a lot smaller. Then we're going to move on to row two, chaining two. And then first stitch, always half double crochet. Mm -hmm. 
Now, if you're following along and you've made your chain, your foundation chain as an odd number, your next stitch will be a double crochet. Okay, so it'll be it'll be the opposite of what you did in the in the in the first row. If you remember, we did a half double crochet, then single crochet, then double, then single, then double, etc. So now that you're in row two, and you'll have to start to get to know this. So if you have a look at your, your pattern just for a moment, you'll see that you've got these larger holes, and then you've got these smaller holes. There's a larger hole, smaller hole, and that just reflects the alternating pattern. So if you're following along the same as me, your next stitch will be a double crochet, but just check that out and make sure that you start to recognize where the double crochets go and where the single crochets go in, you know, in, um, like, when you're looking at the row below. Just start to recognize the pattern, because that'll help you if you, if you accidentally make a mistake and you put the wrong, like, you alternate wrongly, you'll, you'll know about it because the pattern below will show you. So... Hopefully that you'll start to recognize that quite quickly. You'll start to see those bigger holes in the smaller holes. So continue with your row two, alternating. So you started with a half double crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. Keep alternating, single, double, single, double, until you get to the end of the row. And then your last stitch, once again, will be a half double crochet. So pause the video here and keep going to the end of your row two. Okay, so I've completed my row two, half double crochet in that last stitch, chain two. I'm going to make this my last row in my sample with this color. Now, if you're following exactly the pattern that I made here, um, you'll make for your first color, which in this case um, was my dark gray. I started with dark gray last time. Um, I just wanted to start with a lighter color so it's easier to show you um, in, in this sample. But um, this, this uh, you'll continue um, rows until you've reached 15 centimeters in height. Okay, so that's for the first color. And that's only if you're following exactly what I've done here with this blanket, uh, mattress blanket. You can, you know, you could make a, a small, if you're using... Um, you know, lots of different colors. You can make much smaller, smaller stripes. You can make um, the whole one color. You could make just two colors, two equal stripes, one a bit smaller. You know, you can totally be creative with what you want here. I'm just going to go ahead and do with my sample one more row, and then we're going to change color. So go ahead and complete your row three, just continuing with the same. So half double crochet in that first stitch and then just double checking making sure that you can see what's coming up next so in this third row we're going back to what we did in the first row so it's single double there's the big hole for the double single double single and then it's going to be the half double crochet in your last stitch so go ahead and, and complete your row three and never then continue and complete however many rows you're making with your first color and I'll meet you back at the end of, of this first color. Okay, so you've finished color number one. Now, if you're just using one color, continue on to the height that you, you want for your, for your mattress blanket. Otherwise, come with me and we're going to change color. Okay, so I'm going to move on to my cream now. So... I just placed to change color and there's a few different ways that you can change color if you've got a method then then go ahead and do your way I just place my my new color over I pull up a loop with the long end and then I just tighten all the loops and then I chain two with my new color to start the next row so one and two and then once again, just pull everything tight, turn your work, and then just continue on. So you are, I'm going to just do one row of this color, half double crochet, and then again, checking this one, um, because it's one of my even number rows, my next stitch is a, is a double crochet, okay, but I can see, I don't need to keep track of which is a, what is the number of my row, because I can tell by the pattern. Double crochet in that big hole, single crochet in that one, 
double crochet, single crochet. And like I said, it helps you just to make sure that you've got the pattern. Um, you, you know, if you've done two single crochets in a row, for example, you're in the next row it'll show you because you won't have this big hole, smaller hole, big hole, smaller hole. And you'll, yeah, you'll get to know pretty quickly if you've made a, made a mistake. So I'm going to do my double crochet in that next stitch. So you, you continue on with your next color. Now, once again, if you're following on the same as what I did this one here, so with these dimensions of 50 centimeters by 30 centimeters, your first color was 15 centimeters. Your second color will be eight centimeters. Okay, so go ahead and continue and make your eight centimeters or however high you're making your second color and I'll meet you at the end of your second color. Okay, I'm moving on to my third and final color here. So change color just as you did before, pulling up a loop, tighten. And what you can do at this point is you can cut off so from your previous color change, you can cut off the same length from the first color. And then eventually we will do that for this new color. Just continue on a little bit further first. Chain two and tighten. And then continue on with your new color. So half double crochet first stitch. Once again checking your pattern. For me this is going to be a single crochet. My next stitch. So it will depend on how many rows you've done as to which is your your next stitch. Might not be the same as my next stitch okay at this point. So just continue checking out that pattern. That's why I, I tend to um, talk to you about the pattern in the row beneath rather than um, you know odd rows single crochet is, is, your, is your second stitch even rows double crochet is your second stitch it'll depend on you know how how big you're making your blanket and so just follow the pattern um, from the row below those big holes and the smaller holes okay so I'll finish off here I'm going to just do two rows with my gray and my last stitch, as always, half double crochet. And now if you're following exactly my pattern with this first blanket that I made, then this one here, this the, your third color, which corresponds to my gold color here, will be um, 12 centimeters. Okay, so 15 centimeters for your first color, which was my gray here. 8 centimeters for your second color, which is my cream here, and then 12 centimeters for your third color, which is my gray here. So that's a total of 35 centimeters from top to bottom. And then, of course, I've got the width of 50 centimeters, which you can't see because it's off camera, but it's 50 centimeters wide. And depending on the yarn you're using, and you know, it'll I can't tell you the number number of rows, it'll be just according to the, the centimeters. So I'm gonna finish off my last gray row here, or my third color row here. So you continue along, keep going until you've finished off your third color. So if you're working to my pattern, 12 centimeters, and then I'll meet you back at the end and I'll we'll talk about. Um, finishing off all these ends and the end of, yeah, finishing off the blanket, just weaving in all those ends. So catch you soon. Okay, so I'm at the end of my sample and uh, you'll be at the end of your, of your full mattress blanket. Now, I'm just going to go back. So as I did here, I just cut off the, the first color, just approximately the same length as the as the tail end. I'll do the same here and then I will yarn over, pull through and chop off that end. Okay so where you've changed colour what I recommend that you do is you tie a double knot just to secure those two tail ends together and however many times you've 
change colour, you'll you'll do that on the sides. And then it's just a matter of weaving in all these tail ends. So take your take your darning needle, and I'll just I'll just weave in um, one end tail end with you. But um, I'm kind of assuming that you know how to do that. Let's just do this this end one. So obviously you'll you'll weave the right colour into each each colour. So you can go backwards and forwards a couple of times. What I tend to do is just go through once and uh, just finish off in, in a in a kind of a thicker area and usually one of my double crochets. But you you know you just weave in those tails in, tail ends into their respective colours nice and neatly. But just to show you what I do with weaving in my tail ends is this thick yarn Try to squish it so it'll go through the eye. So you need a big, uh, really big eye in your darning needle to get this yarn through. And then you'll weave in your ends. So I just go really simple to weave these ends in. Just I just go through. And like I said, you can go backwards and forwards just to secure it up a little bit more. Actually, let's just come back one. It's going to be too much for me to get it through. There we go. And then just pull your end through. And then just make sure you don't misshape the, e the edge. So don't pull it too tightly. And then I'll just go through again in under here. And pull that through. Because it's big yarn and a big needle. A little bit tricky to get through. But you kind of see the... Yeah. yeah, that's hard to get through. There we go. So, like I said, I tend to finish on a double crochet just so it's the, at the thickest point. And then... I just snip off my excess and then off camera you'll go through and you'll weave in all of your your tail ends and then you've got your mattress mattress blanket all done so I'd love to see photos of what you came up with the the creativity your your stripes and and how you've worked up your mattress blanket um, please send those along to either catventurous.community at gmail.com or you can tag us on social media on Instagram or Facebook at catventurous.crochet. So we'd love to see those, so send them along. I'm sure that you have all been very creative, so I'd love to see that. And uh, hope to catch you soon. Thanks very much. Bye. Hi everyone, welcome to this video tutorial for the ultra chunky striped 2-in-1 cat mattress blanket which you can see on this email we're using here. She's actually cleaning her bottom. I think this one might go in the outtakes. <laughs> Good timing Melba.